I'm Linda and we'd like to talk about the whole issue of disease testing, false positives and false negatives. In particular, we'd like to show how to establish a percentage of people who actually have a disease on a given day, given that we know how many tested positive and how reliable the test is. So the formula we're presenting here is extremely simple. Okay, this is it in fact. So I'm going to explain the formula first or how to apply it um, and I'll show where it comes from uh, later. So the idea here is um, capital D is the percentage of people who actually have the uh, disease and that's what one would really like to know. Capital T is the percentage of people who test positive on a given day and in general, well, we, we will know this, okay? Now the other um, parameters in this, FP and FN, are to do with, with, with um, the, the reliability of the test. FP is the fractional rate at which false positives occur. What, what that means is that if we test a number of people on, a, on any particular day, there will typically be 100 minus D people who do not have the disease. Um, and if we multiply that by FP, we'll actually get the number of false positives, right? Because these are people who don't have the disease and yet show a positive test. The fractional negative rate is similar and is used similarly, okay? The number of people who are percentage of people who actually have the disease is capital D. If we multiply this by the fractional rate Fn, we'll get the uh, percentage of people who actually um, have show false negatives. That is, the percentage of people who actually have the disease, but show it according to the test, don't have the uh, disease. And if you want to rate, uh, if you want to relate Fp and Fn to the, the what the epidemiologists use, they, they use something something called the specificity and the sensitivity, and uh, the relationship is given there. And just to show where, where this all comes from, or where this simple result comes from, and anybody can apply this, right? Where it actually comes from is from saying, well, the number, um, the number of people testing positive is equal to the number of people who actually have the disease, plus the number of people who show a false positive, minus the number of people who show a false negative. Um, the difficulty in applying this in, in a practical way is that FP and FN do not appear to be reliably known, or at least I haven't been able to find them. At its very simplest, of course, you can see that if FP and FN are zero, which is a perfect test, then capital D is the same as T, right? The percentage of people with the disease is exactly equal to the percentage of people testing positive. 